Hello everybody, it is now Monday the 31st of May, so we're at the start of a weekly vlog. As you can see, we're out in the garden, well I am, Paul and Jennifer in the house, filling up the water pistols. Don't worry, we've got Factor 50 on, this is the kids one from Lidl's, but I'll use it as well, because the kids stuff's better. So we've got the water pistols, uh oh, here comes Jennifer, and uh, we're going to have some fun. So Jennifer had me up like at three o'clock in the morning for a cuddle, and then another cuddle, and then she came into my bed, and then we got up at about half past four, so it's a bit later than it would be normally, but because I had to go back to bed to sleep, but uh, yeah, it's all good. We're going to have some fun today. It's a beautiful day. Here she comes with her pistol. And Paul's got one, and he's got one for me, I hope. Two for me. No, one for me, one for everybody, isn't it? Thank you. <laughs> well, guys, it's still really lovely out here. Um, yeah. Jennifer's asleep on my bed, rubbing in for a little doze during the hottest part of the day. A little siesta. Um, uh, yeah, so she, 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 then it's not surprising because she, she didn't sleep much last night. She's absolutely whacked. So yeah, she's fast sounds on my bed because I was having my doze up there, obviously. Paul just got up as well. So I just come out and see how hot it was. It's still very warm, but the worst of it's I say the worst of it, it's not what I mean, but the, the, the hottest part of the day is well over now and but to sit out here for a couple of hours this evening and have a drink and some dinner. Uh, which I'll do. But, uh, you can hear somebody doing their grass. Do a spot of colouring. I've got some videos to make tonight, so it's all good. I'm tired, but it's not surprising when your kid keeps you awake half the night. <laughs> you never really catch up, so you never do. It's nice to it as a bit of a breeze, as you can see my hair blowing, and uh, the washing's practically dry, so that's always a good thing. That saved us a couple of quid anyway. And over the long term, that's a lot of money it saves. Oh, hello. That doesn't sound good. Sounds like when Paul tried to do that, was it? Yeah, you broke it. Never mind, anyway. Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of colouring and I'm going to do some tea in a bit and uh, hopefully Jennifer will get up. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. So we're sitting in the garden now and Jennifer's colouring in her new Spider-Man colouring book. I'm doing my Camellia Angel Cover pattern I've had on the I go for a while. I love my Spider-Man. Hmm? I love Spider-Man. You like Spider-Man? Are you going to show everybody your Hulk t-shirt? Look at that! That's amazing, isn't it? Hulk t-shirt. We've just had dinner. I still got the washing down, but it's dry, so that's the main thing. Just sitting and chilling before bedtime, aren't we? Nursery tomorrow? Yeah! You like nursery, don't you? We go now. No, not now. It's not open now. It's closed at the moment. Let's open in get, the morning. Let's get opened. Get later. It'll be open later, yes, and you can go then. And Quinn and Scarlet and Freddie and Archie and Archie, yeah, all your friends, didn't they? It's been a very nice day. Well, the sun's still there. It's it's going behind the clouds and it's the moon. It's, is there the moon? Oh, there's a bit. Oh gosh, it is up there. Yeah, it's very bright still. It's behind a cloud at the moment, so it won't be long. And Paul's doing the washing up because I did dinner. Anyway, it's dark now. It's, it is getting it was, well. It's not dark, but it, it's getting darker slowly. So yeah. I'll crack on with my bit of colouring and I keep Jennifer it. company before bed. Daddy. Daddy. It's supposed to be bedtime. It's gone eight o'clock. She's been to bed and she's got up again. So they're playing with the ball. I'm gonna pull some orders and um, I'll pack them when I get in the house. But I've got my colouring book here and. Glass wine. You all right? Yeah. Did you hurt yourself? Yeah. Come on, baby. Oh. Hey, everybody. It is Tuesday afternoon, and we're upstairs in the bedroom because it's hot, and we're watching TV. What's the matter, Jen? Oh. You don't like this one? You want me to turn this one off? Okay, there you go. It's off now. 
yeah, it's too hot to do anything. They brought her in at nursery because she was all red in the face, even with a hat and lotion on. Take it away. Where am I taking it to? I want to dinosaur one. Want this dinosaur one here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, it's too hot to do anything. Um, we'll probably have dinner soon. <sighs> Can't be bothered to cook that either. That's the one you said you wanted, the dinosaur one. I this is what I have to put up with I every want day. One. I'll give you a dinosaur in a minute. I'll give you the dinosaur one. Oh, well done, good girl. And then um, I'm going to do some filming tonight, which I was supposed to do last night, but somebody didn't want to sleep. In fact, they didn't go to sleep till gone 10, so I couldn't do it last night. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it is Tuesday evening. Jennifer's asleep in bed. God, I'm still hot. I'm sweating. I'm shower in the morning when I get up. I'll just get up a bit earlier. Um... I've come upstairs because I'm going to, it's only about like 10 past 8, half 8, something like that. I'm going to come and film my colouring book haul, which I wasn't going to do this month because I wasn't buying much, but I got a load of PDFs from Ava Brown. And then I ordered some when I got paid and they came on Monday. I wasn't expecting to get them until June, so what can I say? And there's a few other bits as well, some supplies. Um, today, June 1st, is Marilyn Monroe's birthday. It would be if she's still alive. She would be 95 today. She was born June 1st, 1926. And, uh, yeah, so I don't post a lot about Marilyn on the channel now, and I don't generally post about her at all. That doesn't mean to say I don't read my books. I do. I'm currently rereading them. It's just a slowed down reading at the moment. Um, but I do, I still watch her films when I can, documentaries, uh, particularly the first documentary I ever saw, which was Remembering Marilyn. I might well watch that tonight after I've filmed. Um, so... Happy birthday, Marilyn. Um, news on the Marilyn front is, came from Michelle Morgan, the author. Yay, thanks, Michelle, for letting us know. A few years ago, a book was released called Marilyn Memory and Me by Lawrence Shillett. Now, the book itself came out in two editions. There was the highly expensive edition that nobody could afford, or at least I certainly couldn't afford. And then there was a cheaper version. I don't know where my copy is. Just seeing if I can find which shelf it's on. It's not on any of those. It's not behind there because I never get it out. So there's stuff everywhere up here. I'm just having a quick look. Oh, the Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. So these are Jennifer's. I've got to go back in her room now. It's not there. Is it down here? Eh, I've got so many books. <laughs> I don't see it there either. Where is it gone? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's me here getting caught in the fan. Is it on that shelf? Oh, it's so terrible trying to find books here. Manhattan, no. Definitely not. Fan phenomena. Misplaced loyalties. BD group. All I know is it is here somewhere, but I cannot find it to show you. How annoying. That's going to annoy me now because I don't know where it is. I'm going to have to find it. I'll be back in the Found it. Took me ages. This is, is the version that I have, so it's around £12.99. So this one, I mean, don't get me wrong, this is a, a nice version of it, but this, this came out as a, a sop to the fans who couldn't afford the expensive book. It has the text and a few of the photographs. The other edition they brought out of Marin and Me was a £700 limited edition um, clamshell box set thing with limited photographs, um, prints that came with it. Now, I can't afford that. I mean, Tash and Do do expensive books and I have got like the Some Like It Hot one, which I think was 75 and I've got the um, Andre de Dienes one, which was 150 but I couldn't justify that sort of money, so I've never got it. However, it has now been announced, I think it was posted yesterday, that it is now coming out in a cheaper, more affordable version. And when I say cheaper, I'm not saying it's coming out for like a 10 or 15 quid. No. But a lot cheaper than £700. It's coming out on June the 20th and it's going to cost £50, which is a lot cheaper than £700, but still quite pricey. Needless to say, myself and a load of other people pre-ordered it as soon as Michelle posted that on uh, Facebook. So it went from like 39,000 in books to like 4,000 in books in the space of a few hours because we all 
rushed to pre-order it to make sure we got a copy I, I got mine in really quick I'm fingers crossed I get it on on um, publication day if I do I will be filming that day a flip through an unboxing an unboxing and flip through of that book um, so that's gonna be exciting I'll probably have to do it on the bed because this desk is not gonna be big enough and it's the first photo book for a while I gotta be honest there's lots of conspiracy theory books coming out and I do like to pick them up because I like to read them because I like to know what's being said so I can say well actually you know and I've been doing that on a lot of videos I've been watching today of her house and alleged ghost um, and her grave. I've been just, like, commenting on people's comments that she was murdered and all this stuff because I don't believe it. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter what, what I believe or what anybody believes. It's in the past. So, yes. So very excited about Marilyn and me that finally coming out in an affordable version uh, from Tashin. I can't wait. I know all the Marilyn community is absolutely excited beyond belief for this. Um, unless you're a diehard Marilyn fan, you would not understand how exciting this is. Remember when they did the Essential Marilyn and I did the unboxing? That video still appears in my top videos in my um, analytics. That was like three years ago. This is on a level with that. It's, it's as exciting as that for us lot. And I mean, I wish I could be in the States and celebrating her birthday. They did, I did have a party yesterday. I wish I could have been there. Um, I don't watch very much Marilyn. It's very hard to with Jennifer because she wants what she wants. And that's fine. She's three. It'll come a time when she'll want a TV in her room and she'll be watching stuff up there. Well, you know. But for me, I'm so excited. I really am. So my parents are giving me money for my birthday anyway, so that'll pay for it. So I'm not that worried at all. So yes, so I, I found this one, um, this little version. So it's, it, yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the little version. It's just gutting when you know that the the big version has got all the photographs and in colour and big spreads and all you get is this tiny little version. And this came out in... Let me have a look. So it's the same story. Uh, this came out in... This is the first edition, second printing. 2012. So we've had to wait nine years for it. I mean, I do actually like the picture on the cover of this one. The new version, or the big, cheap version, the big version of the expensive book has her in the pool for on the set of something it's got to give i quite like this picture it's not one you see very often so i finally found it i mean it's the same with the douglas kirkland book over here it came out in a very small size similar to this one but in france and america you've got this great big huge book i've got the french version because i bought it when i was over there once whenever we used to go on holiday to france i used to buy a marilyn book and if i ever go anywhere um, abroad and i find a book that's in that language i will pick it up I do. It's just it's just a habit. I like to have uh, a book from where I've been that uh, is of Marilyn. And I'm smiling because I know this book is coming out. So that's it for tonight. I'm going to get this done. I'm going to watch a bit of TV and see it. I'm actually sweating. I've got a fan on in here. You'll probably hear it. Um, Wednesday, tomorrow, peak of the week. Luckily, it's only a four-day week. And yes, I cannot eek. wait. I'm going to so there won't be many book colouring books this month or supplies. I can't afford it, I'm not gonna pay 50 quid for that book, even if it is. Um, I get the money back so, from my parents. But uh, yeah, I was so my hair is wet. I'm soaking. Um anyway, I'll see you uh, in the morning. I'm not gonna catch in again. I've wambled for rambled for five minutes about Marilyn and Lawrence Schiller. So I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Hey everyone. It is Monday the 2nd of June. It is bedtime. Uh, it's about 25 to 11. I've just been watching The, the Call of Midwife, the last episode in the special, which was really good. Um, I haven't vlogged today. Jennifer was um, sent home from nursery. Not because she's done anything wrong or because she's particularly ill, but to appear she's had some kind of allergic reaction to the sun cream we put on her on Monday and Tuesday. And her face is really red here and here. She had a little bit of rash here and on the back of her neck. Now it's cleared up on the front here and here, but her cheeks are like burn. It's still really red and very warm. So she's got some Pyroton um, antihistamine. We'll see how it goes. They said she's all right to go to nursery. She's fine in herself. Um, I just didn't want to vlog and, and she, you know, all she wanted to do was sit next to mummy. I, I managed to work and they, I just, they just let me do emails, which was great. Fair play to them. They're a good company to work for. 
Um, they let me do emails um, as best I could, which wasn't very easy with her because all she wanted to do was to sit on me and to cuddle up to me. And, and you know, she had a cold flannel on her face because just to take the itch out till the pyroton worked. Um, but yeah, hopefully it's going to go down soon. So give her some more when she gets up in the morning. So yeah, I haven't really done anything apart from look after Jen today. So hopefully. I'm going to yawn tomorrow. I mean, her cheeks are still so red. It's horrible. I have to get some sort of cooling cream that's not got perfume in it. So I'll go and get uh, something tomorrow from the uh, chemist. Poor kid. Yeah, but other than that, she'll... she's fine. She was playing with her toys before she came to bed. She didn't want to go to bed. She wanted to stay up. But, uh, so she's feeling... All right, I just keep my eye. I don't think I'll sleep tonight because I'd be worried about. I'll be checking on her every ten minutes. I've got a headache because the the weather's changeable. So we had a bit of. It was like hot yesterday. It was hot today, and then it was raining. Now it's gone warm again. It's oh, I wish it'd make up its mind. I don't do well in the heat. I I come out in a heat rush. Um, on my arms. I don't get it on my face. On my legs, anywhere, it's just on my forearms and my hands, and it comes out in very itchy red bumps. Now, I've avoided it, it's a bit itchy. Uh, I've got, actually got goosebumps at the moment uh, because I've actually put on some, I put on lotion, a lot of lotion yesterday, and it's the same stuff Jennifer uses, and it's the same stuff she used last year, and she was fine. Uh, but it's just one of those things we're gonna have to get something else and, and see how she goes. I'm gonna knock it on the head for tonight, hopefully, tomorrow we'll be vlogging a bit more. Depends how she is. Oh, it's one thing after another with kids. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head off to bed and I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Yeah, sitting on the bike. Here's Jen's face. Looking better now, aren't you? Can you get down? One, two, four. Ooh, we keep there losing. you go. We keep losing number three, don't we? Where are you going? Bring the flowers. Ah, she's found the ball. You like playing ball, don't you? <laughs> Go on then, I'll be here in a minute. <sighs> it's very warm. So this is Thursday. We've been trying to put the pool up. We've already blown one up because we didn't really understand the instructions, um, me and my dad. And then we've been putting this one up. It's not brilliant. Um, this is the one we've had the last couple of years. Now we've got the problem is that uh, we don't know how to attach the hose pipe back to the outside tap because somebody took it off and didn't make a note of how it came off. So we can't get it back on. I don't think it's going to last long anyway. I think this pool's on the way out. So we'll see about getting another one later. But I'm going to get changed because I've got wet feet and uh, going to do some tea and then hopefully tomorrow I might figure it out. You never know. See you in a bit. It is Friday afternoon. It is lovely out here. It's gone, the sun's gone behind the cloud at the moment, which is why I'm filming because I can actually see what I'm doing. Jennifer's playing in the paddling pool. There's not a huge amount of water in it because she wanted to get in it so quickly. I can't show you her because she just stripped off everything and climbed in start naked. I'm not getting you out again, Jen. You, i got to go to the dentist in a minute, so if you get out, that's it. Okay, I got you. So, yeah, I've got the dentist in a little bit, and then we'll be going up the Prince for fish and chips, hopefully. You want some chips up the Prince? Mm. You like those, don't you? Yeah. Yes. I don't like sauce. You don't need to have sauce. I like a red one. All right. Yeah. So, we're going to go up there after I get back from the dentist, aren't we? Yeah. And tomorrow's going to be sunny, so we're all going no, in the pool. Come back. I'm not going to stay at the dentist, Jen. It's a bit dull. You'll come back. Mm -hmm. You'll come back in my pool. After we've been to the pub. We'll probably go in the pool tomorrow. We need to pump it up a bit because it's losing air rapidly, actually. Um, but, uh, yeah, we need a new one. So we'll have to have a look at that. But we'll go We're going inside, are we? All right. So, yeah, that's about it by now, by the look of it. Till later, get Paul to pump it up a bit. I and then... Well, of course it is. You dropped it on the floor. Kids, who'd have them? <laughs> Dee. At least her allergy's gone down now. Oh, right, time to get ready. 
morning it's saturday morning i know i didn't vlog last night much but we did a quiz and i'm still using my phone to vlog so i can't when we're doing the quiz because i used my phone to answer the questions but we came in 29th it was fun it was cover songs it was a good laugh we didn't do very well on some of it you know there was an instrumental round where they just literally played instruments some of them were really hard and then of course we had westlife versus boyzone <laughs> Sorry if you're fans of them. I'm not big fans. I don't particularly like Ronan Keaton's voice. And, you know, Westlife, when they do a cover, it sounds exactly like the original, so it's pointless. Um, but yeah, it was good fun. Good fun. We did enjoy it. But so here we are. I'm sitting in the garden. It's a beautiful day. There's not a cloud in the sky. I've got the washing out. Um, paddling pool's got a, a slow air leak, so we're going to need to get a new one, I think. Because we can't find out where the leak is. Just that there is one. Um, so I'll have a look around for a new pool and have some breakfast in a minute and uh, Jennifer's kicking off because she wants to watch something and we won't keep rewinding it to the beginning so she can watch the the beginning again because it takes forever to do on that thing I'm sure there's a quicker way I just can't be bothered to sit and play with it because she gets all stroppy but uh, she'll survive anyway oh it's a beautiful day I'm actually sitting in the shade it's actually it's only it's not even 10 o'clock and it's really warm in the sun Luckily where I am, I've got the shade from the, the wall behind me. There's a wall over here, um, which is next door's what would have been their garage. But they use it for other things. The last owners converted it, so... Which is fair enough, don't blame them. And I'm just going to just sit here and uh, chill out for a bit and get some breakfast. And it's really nice to be now outside. It's not too hot yet. I know it's going to get hot later, so... I might bring some colouring out in a bit and see if Jennifer will come out and play. So, do our best. Let's have some breakfast. So it's about lunchtime now and we're in the garden again. I've had a quick shower because I was sweaty. Gone. Just popped in the house. We'll probably be back in a minute. And Jennifer's colouring in her Spider-Man book, aren't you, Jen? Spider-Man's blue. Um, and she's using my Black Widow pencils because they're not over expensive to replace. You don't want that pencil? Why not? What's wrong with that one? It's a nice one. You need a green pencil? Yeah. Let me find one. Oh, it's big. It's not that big. Now she's using toxic it's green, which is a smaller one. one but, uh, it's taller than It's that. not as tall as this one, look. No. No. It's downer. Yeah. We, it's a big one. Yeah, so I've got another one of those. It's okay. You can use that one. Off you go. So yeah, just uh, enjoying it. It's a bit of cloud overhead, so the heat's gone off for a while, which is nice. We're covered in lotion. She's got a bit on her arms, but uh, she's wearing a hat, so I haven't put any on her face because it brings her out in a rash. So going to give her a nicer, get her an expensive one tomorrow when we go shopping. But yeah, couple of covers. Trying to fill in off this picture in World of Wonder, which is a cover. I got another one in the back. Oh, in a minute. And then I've got one going in Zen colouring. And here comes Daddy. Wait for me, Jen. It's Saturday evening. Paul and Jennifer are inside watching TV. And I'm sitting in the garden having a glass of wine. The eldest next door is back from university. And he's got a few of his mates over, which is really nice to hear. They're having a good time, playing some good music. And it is good. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. I haven't got the washing down. I've had another sale. I've got a posted four this morning, or Paul posted four this morning. And I've got two more to go out on Monday. So I'll pull those tomorrow. I'm really happy. I better get some listing done. So, yeah, I'm just chilling in the garden. It's a lovely evening. It's cloudy and, uh, you know, you can see it's very cloudy. But the temperature's gone down. It's just really nice sitting out here with a glass of wine reading the book. Just chilling. Won't be for long. I have to go get Jennifer to bed soon. But, yeah, I'm really enjoying myself today. It's just been a really nice relaxing day. And I think we both needed it. So tomorrow's Sunday. Back to normal. Bit of shopping. Tidying up. Although I did do the sort all the washing out, I've got this lot to sort, but that's it. And yeah, it's been a really nice relaxing day. I'll see you when I get inside. I'm going to be filming tonight. Friday. Sunday, and we've been shopping. Over no, I took her clothes off. Jennifer decided she wanted a full-on Spider-Man outfit. You're going to show me? You show all your fans? Look at that, Spider-Man. It's a bit big for her at the moment, which is good. She's got some room to grow in it. You gotta press your light. Oh, where's my light on? Just there. Press it there. The press the spider like that. Oof. You won't be able to see it out here anyway. It's too bright. So yeah, the, it lights up as well. And go in. Go in. Go on. Go in. Oh, no. It's a 
a bit hot, isn't it? I'll be in in a minute. Okay. Off you go. <laughs> so she thinks she's Spider-Man. You got it backwards, Jen. There. Yeah, be careful down the steps with that mask on, Jen. This rose has come out nice now, look. Yeah. I can smell it from here and all. Take the, hat, the thing off if you can't see properly, Jen. So we've got a new pool to replace the broken one, so. Yay. We are recording. Well, hello everybody in YouTubeville. I am in next door's hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Dan some gin and lemonade to play with the gin. <laughs> Keep Jennifer out the water, please. With Dad and Jess. You can turn the camera on then. Oh, hi. Hello, hi. everyone. Say hello to everyone in YouTube land. <laughs> <laughs> a lovely way to spend a Sunday. Oh, I know. <laughs> What's that, darling? He's got your phone. He's got my phone. <laughs> hey, people. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Jennifer's dressed up as a princess. Are you alright, Jen? Yeah, they're tripping over. Come on. Are you filming it? Yeah. That's why I turned it on you. Oh, you are. Hi, everybody. It is Sunday night, and I am absolutely shattered. So it was so relaxing being in that hot tub. I just want to sleep now. So we've had some dinner. I've washed my hair because it had chlorine in it. I'm going to dry it and I'm going to hit the hay. Jennifer's out. Paul's out. And I'm going to be out very, very soon. <laughs> it's been a great day. I had a lovely weekend. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this weekly vlog. And I'll see you again. And we'll start it all again on Monday. Tomorrow. See you then. Bye, guys.